Hello, my Virgos. Welcome back once again. <laughs> okay, so you know the deal. This is a general reading. Take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading, the link to my website is in the description box below. Okay. Um, now, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to take a look first at what are the general universe messages or advice that they want to give you, the Virgo, what they want to say to Virgo. Um, and then, then I'll take a look into the person you're dealing with, romantic or not. Only you will know if this is a brother, a lover, a friend, a work. I don't know, you know, only you. Um, what they want to say to you, what you want to say to them. It's, it's a Mercury retrograde and we have a lot of planets all funky right now. So I thought this might be an interesting time to do so, okay? Now in the pre-shuffle, I, want, I am picking up, you might be waiting on, or you might be either, I don't know if it's waiting on a love connection or stuck on a soulmate. There's like somebody that keeps running in your mind. And I don't feel like you're actively trying to think about this person, but I feel like they kind of, they kind of, cons you, they consume your head sometimes. And I don't mean that in a creepy way, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think. Um, but it's more so like you just can't get this connection off of your mind because, but it is a soulmate, that's why. And I'm hearing something about like, making that at one point they made you happy or you feel like they could make you happy. I'm just seeing you associate some sort of like potential happiness with this person, but they're not around you. In fact, a lot of you could be working or back to work for those of you that are, if you're not, you will be shortly. I'm just seeing like there's other things that need your attention. Some of you may No, I want to say something about being up high, but I don't know why that would be relevant. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of getting like you're doing something. There's something that you're building, but there is someone on your mind. You could actually miss kissing this person or think it or you're thinking about kissing this person. I don't know. I'm just seeing you really kind of something is consuming your head but I think you're trying to do other stuff like I don't think you're actively trying to do that okay so anyway let's move on shall we um but see again I keep I'm having a hard time moving on from it it's, it's this very stuck energy of like why am I stuck here why do I keep thinking about this that type of feeling so sounds great okay uh universe what are the general messages and advice that you want to give to my Virgos please Oop, oops stuck 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 very stuck don't be stuck. Happy times are ahead, Virgo. What messages do you want for Virgo? Oh, again, again, what did I say? Something happened between you and another person that's a very kindred spirit. You're, you're compatible. You have similar values on the future. You, whether or not you know it, this person, you instinctively think about them, I think, because this person is compatible with you. you, but you're looking opposite ways. The woman holding the coin and her counterpart, the man holding a coin, okay? So this, you could both value money, stability, things like that, have similar interests in regards to just the general direction your life wants to go. Um, it's possible that the female, the feminine energy, doesn't have to be female, but the feminine energy here, whoever takes that on, could be a little bit more well-off than the male at this current time. It's like they're ahead of them, whether they're older or whatever the case may be, but I'm just seeing them being a little bit more established in their business and their whatever they're doing. Um, if this isn't romantic, then it could be a partnership, a business partnership that is very key to you. But I'm sensing more like this This is on your mind. You're really trying to seek guide, um, guidance in regards to this, <clears throat> I feel, because there was heartbreak here. So even though this is just general advice, but there, you know, you seem to be focusing on a, on a specific partnership. I 
I think that they want you, Virgo, to step back and really kind of take a look at the dark and light side of your situations in life, yourself and those that you're dealing with. It's not about really being judgmental of people in that type of way, but more being very truthful in the way that you look at things. You know, seeing your equation, that what you have put in, both good and bad, as well as other people. Because sometimes we forget to look into that, that, you know, everybody has a play, especially in love, to how things turn out. So there's just something that, you know, both of you probably need to do this, but I'm sensing, like, the masculine energy. There's just something about the masculine energy that really kind of needs to take time out and think from a, a more broad um worldly perspective you know or something like that but i'm sensing a lot of this is a huge time of learning for whoever you're dealing with and perhaps yourself as well whoever this applies it's but you're <laughs> you're i think you will follow the spiritual guidance that, that's given to you i think that there's some things that have happened in your life that are going to, the reason why it's saying this is because I, I feel like you probably are starting to realize or you already have, so you may be doing this. Um, you will have a couple hiccups on your new journey that you start, but just know that you are spiritually guided in this direction. So that is, it is the journey that you're meant to go on. You know, things are, especially relationships, connections, businesses, they're not always... They don't always work out perfectly, but it's part of the journey, they're saying. So, okay, so, <laughs> wow, I'm just, <clears throat> I don't know why I said wow. But anyway, because <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sensing something, like a very strong energy of starting something new, but also not wanting to deal with the ups and downs and the fights and things, but that is part of the journey, and I fit in, and, and Again, it's very stuck energy with you. I feel very fixated. So even if you want to move on from something, the universe has shaken you up or hurt your feelings or done something to make you see things a little bit differently, to make you see the value of a connection and this person you. So tandem or whoever this applies more to, but this is all happening for a very specific reason. Um, because the other person wouldn't see unless things were destroyed, I guess. All right, anyway. So, um, universe, what does the person Virgo is dealing with? What do they want to say to my Virgos, please? What does this person want to say to Virgo? What do they want to say to Virgo? Could be dealing with a Libra. I feel like this individual could be a little bit stubborn. Uh, Libra, Taurus energy doesn't have to be those specific signs, obviously, but this individual wants things to be more official. So if this is business, they want paperwork, they want, they will want to do business with you. This individual wants commitment as well. You know, in that regard, they're, they're somebody that likes a person who's consistent, who commits to things, who doesn't, you know, who shows up. They're a little bit, I would say they're more conservative as well. And their presence is also very dominant. They could balance a lot of things at a time here. What does this person want to say to Virgo? So they seem a little bit into themselves right now. It's, it's you know, I think it's pretty cut and dried in regards to you. They want you, you know, if this is, was a romantic person, they would be like, I, just, I want you to commit to me. Point blank, cut and dry. That's what I want. I don't want to say much else. You know what I mean? I don't want a bunch of mystery and confusion and whatever. I just want you to come clean, Virgo. Seems, you know, not super flexible. I don't know what your past is with this person. They just want things to flow smoothly like a well-oiled machine, you know, basically. Um, what does this person want to say to Virgo? Um, they're very, 
guarded in regards to you. They may feel, oh gosh, this is a little bit harsh. This individual is, are they like, um, <laughs> I don't know, who is this person? Um, are they a cop? I want to, <laughs> whatever. Um, they're a little bit guarded in regards to you. They're unsure if they want to move forward with you. They're unsure about, could have to do with like juggling in the past or somebody, they, somebody was sneaky. They may think that you were sneaky specifically. Um, could be dealing with an air sign, fire sign, but I'm, I'm getting definitely that there was an element of sneakiness, which in regard, they just feel very on edge when dealing with you. And they're not sure in what direction to, now they find you very attractive, but at the same time, there's a level of unpredictability here. You could have, I don't know if you're like in and out or inconsistent with this person. See, because they seem like they're very like, this is what I want, cut and dry, bum -ba -dum -ba -dum, like a military person. And that could be why they don't, you might be a little bit too free spirited for them maybe. I, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but if the energy is a little bit harsh. It's like they just don't trust you. Could be married to this person. Doesn't have to be. You could work with them. I don't know. Um, a lot of fire energy, though. All right. What does Virgo want to say to this person? What does Virgo want to say to this person, please? <sighs> I like how Virgo comes back just as grounded, like, well, you're over-controlling. <laughs> the Emperor reversed. The Emperor is stubborn, but when he is reversed, he is impossible. So this person could be manipulative. They could be controlling. They could be um, just difficult to deal with. If they're a boss, they're not the right type of boss. And they may try to change you may express to them like if you could say something to them you might be like well you got to change that attitude i feel like virgo is kind of like okay yeah i'm not perfect but you need to have clarity on who you are as well you know what i'm saying i feel like this individual kind of only sees you as misbehaving they don't really at least that's maybe how you perceive it I'm just, <laughs> but I do sense somebody having clarity about this and being willing to change or maybe try to change. Um, what is this, what does Virgo want to say to this person? So yeah, I'm seeing like, this feels like the masculine energy because I'm seeing a pair here, the Empress and the Emperor. So, you know, This is a match, but something about the masculine energy, that's what I want to say, as opposed to specifically one sign or the other. The masculine needs to kind of have a little bit of a change of attitude. Because I'm seeing like you don't want to fight anymore. You want to put an end to the conflict. Because I think you do feel love here, but something wasn't like fully fulfilled for for probably you, but... Okay, so I do see a coming... Yeah, I feel like... You just want the drama, the fighting, the heartache. You want that to be over. You know, I think that you think of this person, you may have some regrets, you know, um, whether or not you did something wrong. It's just like, I, I feel like you do kind of miss this person here. But there's some sort of, yeah, like I said, somebody kind of needs to adjust their behavior a little bit, not be as sneaky, this masculine energy. So whoever that applies to, you know, if you want to make this work, basically, you know, because I'm seeing both one person's very defensive, the other person feels like, man, I... I shouldn't have done that or like just kind of starting to slowly realize maybe their part in the equation I'm feeling so all right um yeah 
I guess that's all I have to say. <laughs> all right, Virgo. Bye-bye.